Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank every one of you for all of your thoughts and prayers about Mrs. Stony Ridge. If you didn't catch yesterday's video, Mrs. Stony Ridge broke her arm while we were over here cutting hay together. So I was over here with you guys uh, cutting hay. We got about a third of the way done. I got a phone call and before I could get any drone footage, before I could wrap up the video, I ran over there, I ran, I hopped off the tractor and I just ran to the Kubota and I drove as fast as I could over there, ran in the house. Thank goodness, I, what I saw, what I heard when she said, I think I broke my arm was like, Grr. I thought her arm was really, really like broken up or something. I was really upset. I, nobody wants anything bad to happen to a loved one. We spent most of the evening, most of the night last night in the hospital. Uh, she did break her arm. Hopefully I can get a little interview with her at the end of this video or let you guys see what the results are she's doing okay she's in a little bit of pain and it's kind of messing with her head a little bit she's going back to school right now to get her doctorate uh, in nursing and uh, we <laughs> that's kind of putting a hamper in on things so she's in there typing like this and she's never ever in her life called in sick to work never which I'm not a fan of. I, I don't think that that's the way to live. If you're sick, don't go to work, especially if you work in the hospital. But she doesn't get sick. She, you know, she takes care of herself. Anyhow, what we're doing today is we're going to start cutting hay, uh, finish up cutting hay. We're a third of the way done. We're out here in the middle of the hay field that has the most hay going on right now. And we're hooked up to the wagon the hay wagon right here with the front of the Kubota I don't know if you've ever pulled anything with the front but it's a little bit interesting so come along today we're gonna toss the drone up in the air we'll show you the hay the quality of the hay that we're cutting this is finally grass and not all weeds it's really dry and we got work to do all right Woo! Stony Bridge. Not much to run into out here. <laughs> guys probably never seen the hay wagon that we have here on the farm. I bought this about a year and a half ago. It's going to make a great stage for when we have presentations and stuff up here on the farm and we do plan on doing that. Some kind of a festival presentation, fence rodeo or something like that. We want to, I guess, host some events here on the farm. So this will make an awesome little stage for it. It's kind of why I bought it and I also bought it so I can move hay bales. So it doesn't make any sense for me to store my hay way, way over here. We need a couple places to store hay. We're in the midst of getting a hay shed put over here and we've already got a building on the other side of the farm and we want to keep all of our hay equipment kind of out of the way. This is equipment that we only use probably once or twice a year. So it's in the way, it really is in the way over here by the house. We want to get that stuff out of there and keep that shed just for pulling in and out equipment that we're constantly using. We want to put a shed over here on the other side of the farm to store the equipment that we use two, three, four times a year, like the rototiller, the hay cutter, the hay rake, and the hay baler. We definitely want to keep our hay baler in a nice dry spot. Now this typically is built out of rough cut lumber but this one right here was built by the local high school they put this thing together and it's just built out of pressure treated uh, pine wood which means I need to put some linseed oil on it or something like that so that it doesn't rot. Let's get busy let's hop on the tractor and start cutting hay you can see <laughs> that's where I stopped tractors way over there <coughs> cut it Got to take care of my baby, take care of my wife. Love's more important than any kind of hay. In case you guys are wondering, this is a Kubota X1140. It's a diesel model Kubota. It has four seats, but right now we're having it in the two seat configuration. The bed folds up like a transformer, and then you can have your rear seat. So for transporting personnel, you get half a bed. For working like this, you get the whole bed. And it has a two inch receiver on the front and on the back. That's why we just hooked up to the front. The back is a little more difficult to get to because it's kind of up underneath, and it's easier to just pull right up to something, hook to it, and move it. 50 yards. In 
case you missed what we did yesterday, we hooked up to our New Holland 492 cutter. This is a mower conditioner or hay bine or however you want to call it. Depends on where you're from. We've got it cut in hay. You can see the windrows back in behind me and the windrow is just basically where the grass was cut and piled up out the back of this machine. Some of the grass is really, really thick and some of the grass isn't. We've had a really, really dry spell. I don't anticipate getting much hay off of this and I'm on the fence about this entire field right here, whether to just cut it and leave it and let it rot back to the land. I'm gonna make that decision as time goes on here, but the more I look at it, the more I think to myself, why not just cut this field, let it go back to the land and cut hay over on the best portion right over there, which is clearly healthier ground. The science behind why this ground here is not as healthy as the ground on the other side is because this was where the tobacco was grown and over here on this side 30 40 years ago that's where the old man kept his cows so the cows definitely provided more nutrient to the soil it's better soil over there than it is over here this was all grown up in pine tree saplings and just a total disaster this field was grown up probably five years more than the field directly behind me my serious thought process is whip this out get this done leave it on the ground because there's just not much hay let me show you let's squat down here it's like cutting hay in wyoming i should have a huge handful of hay i don't have a huge handful of hay so we'll probably cut this let it sit we'll fly over it and you get a little better perspective and we're probably going to cut that and bail it up good times lots of thought goes into all this stuff one more helpful tidbit of information. I like to give people helpful information. I freeze water bottles, so I'll take a whole case of water and I'll freeze it in my deep freezer. And then when I come out to do stuff like this, I'll just grab a frozen bottle and you can see it's been 10 minutes and this thing's ready to drink. I'll have cold water the whole time I mow. Makes good sense. bit on the hot dry and tired side right now guys all the hay is cut it looks beautiful everything's fantastic everything functioned completely flawlessly 
cannot complain one bit other than it's just been so dry a lot of dust in the air uh, the grass isn't quite what it could be but we're still going to get all the hay we'll need for the winter time for our cows that way we can buy cows at a budget price when it comes to winter time when people's cows are really really hungry and people don't have hay we'll have hay and we'll be able to get a better deal on our cattle so that's the whole purpose of mowing hay this year we really didn't need any hay at this point but we will in january february so we're going to go ahead and get on this we're going to give it a day to dry so we got a few projects around the house tomorrow with the ventrac and then we'll get on this and start bailing i got the rubber glove on because i had the drone flying around here and the battery died on the drone well as the battery was dying it started trying to land in a big old pile of grass so i reached up to grab it because you can grab it and stop it from flying and when i did i hit the propellers and sliced my fingers awesome <laughs> a day without blood is just like a day without blood <laughs> guys thanks a lot for joining me here on the stony ridge farm i hope you enjoyed the drone footage i hope you could see the other side of the field over there is just a little bit sparse i don't know if i'll be able to get any hay out of it or not we may just leave it on the ground but hence is the life it's farming thanks a lot guys pound that like button on your way out the door subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you again here on the stony ridge farm jump on there and follow us on facebook too okay we'll see you next time Woo! got it mode seven hours <laughs> in two days we'll come on down to the stony ridge bring your wife and bring your kids we're living life pure and sweet that's the way it's supposed to be stony ridge All right, guys, so I told you I'd tell you what was going on with Mrs. Stony Ridge. Show them your arm. I've had better days, yep. but I'm okay. So Lexi ran out. She was cleaning out for the puppies. Lexi ran and just kind of tackled you. Yeah. Yeah, kind of bumped into her. Course. She fell down like Superman, boom, wrist out. If you get ready to fall, guys, what do you need to do? Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. <laughs> so she's a little down in the dumps, but we're getting better. All right.